1942, I started. What did Sweden do? Yes, yes. What did Sweden do during the war? Nothing. Right. So what did you have to do when you were in the army during the war? Yes, but we were prepared if the enemy should come. Okay. That was what we were prepared. The German was in uh, Denmark, in Norway. Mm -hmm. The Russian were in Finland. Mm -hmm. And the Russian was... The uh, German was at uh, the beginning in Poland and the right. Balticum. And uh, in the end, uh, it was the Russians. So it changed under the war. So there was much people we had to study, and many Swedish uh, army people went to in, uh, uh, Finland. Okay. And was fighting on the Finnish side against the Russians. Okay. But uh, of the time, but, I, but you see, the war in so big areas they had not had before, because at that time they had small weapons. Uh -huh. Now they have more artillery and more big weapons in tanks. Right. Fighting. So, under the war, the Russian and uh, the Balt uh, England, uh, America, together produced 225,000 tanks. Wow. And then, then uh, German on the other side, uh, about 20,000. A tenth. So the war was not a production of uh, different uh, uh, possibility to do a war. It was just a war against the industry in these two parts. Hmm. You have ten many, ten times the many of tanks in America and Russia than the German had. Okay. But I think that it was, Germany was the best uh, Thai tank uh, fighters. But uh, they don't have so many fights, so many tanks they must have to go as a window of uh, war. The window of the war was only because of the industry. In okay. The different. <laughs> and when you don't see this very clear uh, things about who was winning the war, if you, if you have 10 times the tanks. Right. It isn't. Uh, it would make sense. It, it did not be a big uh, uh, quality for the war fight. It, uh, uh, the quality, quality <coughs> the possibility for the industry in the different countries to make as more, more many tanks as possible. How many um how many tanks did Sweden make? Yes. How many did Sweden make? We had about uh, six seven hundred. And uh, the Germans had uh, two thousand five hundred. 
and uh, we are make and the Russia together at 125,000. Yeah. Thanks. The, the, so the, Germany had 2,000? Is that what, what you said? Germany had 2,000 tanks? Is that what you said? And about two, uh, about <coughs> 200, and 25,000 tanks. Okay. 25,000. And the other had 225,000. Okay. So they had 200,000 more. Is that 10 as much? So Finland and Russia were together? What? Did you say Finland was with Russia? The Russia and the Americans but and you, British. Yeah. Together. But Finland helped Russia? 200,000. Right. The German to twenty, twenty, two hundred thousand and twenty. That's the difference. Yep. It's ten as much tanks on the other side against the Germans. So that was not. Not a war on the <coughs> battlefield. It was <coughs> a war, war, but the industry in its different parts. Okay. With so many uh, tanks, it was impossible to, for the German to come to a winning. Uh, possibilities and uh, people don't speak about it because not in America not in uh, uh, England and German, uh, Russia because they were the window so they will not tell no. the truth right they, they, they are all not better <laughs> in war. Mm -hmm. Yes. When was um, the last time Sweden was in a war? When was that? Uh, about the, uh, the near the eighteen hundred. And ten. Okay. And uh, the Napoleon War. At that time, Sweden, the big last five was outside Leipzig in Germany. And in that war, the France against the rest of the world. Okay. And it was outside Leipzig. But I've been there. Sweden had only a little part of the top against Napoleon. Yeah. Uh, we had a crown prince at that time, uh, Carl Johan, who had been uh, Marshal. Marshal. Mar Marshal. Uh, uh, Major G General under Napoleon had left Napoleon, went out to Sweden, and had, uh, uh, was responsible for the Swedish part uh, among the enemies mm -hmm. were against Napoleon. Right. So that was the result. Yep. And, uh, and it was the last time we had a big army. Under the Second World War, we had a big army with about uh, 10 divisions. And uh, I was in that army, and I had the best division in Sweden. Yep. 
with all the tanks, and it was my duty at that time. But um, that was not much we had. If if uh, the German army went against Sweden, and the German had uh, twenty five thousand tanks, and we had less than one thousand. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. So after the war, after World War II, what did you do in the military? What did you do? I was uh, working in the army. I was uh, uh, the first I had to learn my app as officer. Mm -hmm. And after that, I went uh, in the general staff in Sweden, in the headquarter. Okay. And I had uh, was all the brigadier and regiment commander and uh, division commander. What does that mean? And how long did you do that? What does that mean? Uh, a brigadier. Yeah. Is about five thousand. Over 5,000 men? 5,000 men, yeah. Yeah. And my division, army division, was 35,000 soldiers. Okay. So it's commander over 35,000 soldiers? Yes. Was there someone over you then? The next, uh, you come to the army. And the army was, uh, it should be different. It should be from 10,000 to 100,000. Okay, but you had to answer to somebody. What? You were in charge of your part, but you had someone who was over you. Higher up? Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Now, uh, I have people, yes, yes. So my unit it was uh, 35,000. The, the whole Swedish army, only second world war, were about 700,000 soldiers. Wow. But most of them, it was people up to 45 years old. So many of them was not... Uh, was just around the, the home port. They were not going to other. But the, the big army was about uh, uh, a little more than 100,000. So all the other people who was defending different places so what 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 were you doing in the seventies? In nineteen seven Nixon Ford time. What did you do during that time? In the nineteen seventies. Nineteen seventy. Yeah. You were still in the army. I then, was uh, right? commanding the Swedish Army Division. What does that mean? It will mean uh, 220 tanks and about 35,000 soldiers. Were you, uh, was he gone a lot? <laughs> was he gone a lot? How do you mean? I was the highest commander. What did you say? He said he's sort of the highest commander in the uh, over those okay a lot of them. did you w were they involved in world were you involved in stuff that was in the world at that time no we was not in the world we were in sea okay sweden. and only in sweden not some uh, private person were going to the finnish army but in other, everyone 
as he still would be in the Swedish army. In Sweden. Uh -huh. To defend Sweden. Okay. Not to make an attack in America. Right, right. Okay. Just trying to figure it out. <laughs> so, and then you retired in 1986? Is that what you said? Well, you, you, Retirement. When did you leave? Retired in 90... Uh, uh, 86. Yeah. 1986. They let you go. Yes. <laughs> yes, we uh, get, uh, left at... Uh, I left at 60 years old. Okay. But Manny was uh, leaving at five, uh, 50 years old. So that was up to what he gave. And when he was leaving, uh, even uh, late, uh, earlier, the, leaving the army. So, sounds exciting. What? Sounds somewhat exciting. Did you enjoy it? Did you like your time yes. in the military? Yes. Yeah. But then you write about it in here. Uh, I think you can see it in the book. Yes. Yeah. I'll work on my Swedish. <laughs> okay, very good. That's interesting. Oh.